Hello, I got another package, which means another unboxing. Let's go find out what's in this bag from Amazon. Hello, welcome to Korean Thoughts and I'm Dave. If you want to follow my journey, hear my thoughts and ideas, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you're notified each time I do a new video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing this little envelope I got from Amazon. Don't worry, it's going to be fish related. But basically, let me go ahead and open this up and show you what I received. And of course, I haven't opened this yet, so I have to rip it open for you guys on camera. So let's see, the first thing I received is uh, this, which is a GF, uh, GFCI power block. Uh, this is by Woods Pro. Uh, this is only a four socket one, but this is going to go out on my patio tank. Uh, basically because I need a, a GFCI and I need a little bit more uh, outlets for that tank area. So this can go outside. I'm not going to film that. It's not that important. But what I primarily am doing this video on is this following product, which is the Nikru LED light controller. That's what this item is. And this is the primarily reason why I'm doing this video. This is gonna be for my 10 gallon, which is currently housing one of my breeding projects, which I'm gonna do a later video on to show you what I'm doing in that one. But basically, this is for the LED light that I have on it. I did a previous video on that light, so feel free to watch that at a later point in time. Currently, I have it on a smart controller, which is not very smart. It's kind of um, inaccurate. It, it's not consistent. Uh, sometimes when I'm at home at 11 o'clock, it's on it, when it's supposed to be turned off at sunset, but it's not doing a really good job. So that's why I'm switching over to a LED light controller for it. This is a 24-hour timer. Um, not quite sure what that exactly means, uh, but basically the features on this, it, it does have a manual on and off option, and you also could program on and off times. Uh, it is a single channel controller, which means it's only going to control either the white or the blue, but not both. Um, this is basically going to simulate sunrise and sunset. That's one of the primary reasons why I do kind of like this option, even though it's not one option I really, really um, bought it for, but it's a nice feature to have on this. Uh, it provides a natural day, night cycle for your fish. So let me go ahead and open this up and show you what's in on the inside of it. Um, it has a little bit of tape there. Um, and there you go, this is the actual controller. Um, not quite sure why I have this piece. I'm gonna have to read the instructions on this piece. But this is the main controller right here. Um, it has hour plus minute, it has a little sun, and of course a power button right there. I This is gonna be one of those products where I'm either gonna have to watch YouTube videos on it if I can find it, or actually read A, the user guide for it, or B, the instruction manual. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read these and see how to set this up and I'm actually gonna pull the light from the tank and bring it in my living room and try to figure this out. And I will bring that out and show you the light as well as the timer for it. So let's go take a look at that. So I got the light off the fish tank and I'm ready to install this. So basically this is going to be the light I have and of course this is the connection right here uh, which all it does is on this one it just turns it on uh, or uh, uh, or of course off or white or you got blue. So that's basically all this switch does. There's no timer on this right now which is why I did buy this. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you how this is going to work. Uh, so basically on this what you have is a little con connector right there. All you have to do is pull that apart. And then you're going to take your timer and you're just going to plug it in uh, just like so. Uh, so basically now you can see that it is flashing 000. 
and then you just take the other piece as well and plug that in. Uh, so basically now I do have a timer on this uh, and that's pretty much what I have to do in terms of actually putting it on. Um, now I did figure out what these are for. These are in case you need to adapt the plugs. I guess some of the plugs do not have the uh, same uh, connection. So basically that is what that's for. I'm gonna make sure that these are secured in there, which they are. Uh, so basically right now then I'm set to actually get this up and running. I'm gonna try to connect this so you can actually see. Uh, so basically what you need to do first is you're gonna hit the, the little sun right there. That's actually the set button. Uh, so I'm gonna hit, go ahead and hit the set button and I'm getting ready to actually set the time. Uh, let me find out what time it is right now. What time is it? It's 12.55. So right now it's 12.55. Uh, of course it's AM so that's already there right now, now because it's zero zero. So all I need to do is, uh, let me try that one more time. Uh, you gotta press and hold the set button for three seconds and then it's gonna flash and you can change the time. So I just need to change it to 12.55. So I have a long ways to go. Or I could just wait the five minutes until it turned to one but I'm um, going ahead and changing the minutes up to 55. I'm hitting the mitten button, which is doing that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, almost there. There's four and there's five. Uh, then when you're done, you just hit the set button and now it says on and then you just set it to the time you want on. So I'm gonna change it to uh, 10 a.m. Uh, let's see, so that's seven, eight, nine, 10. So I'm gonna have it turn on at 10 a.m. in the morning hit set once more and that's set now it says off and what time do you want to turn it off I'm gonna turn off at 730 at night so I'm gonna change it up until 1930 so there we go that's gonna go up to 1930 which is 730 p.m. Uh, let's see here Da, da, da. There, I have it for 7.30. So it's gonna be on from 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. So then once you get that, hit set. And right now it says F1 or F2. I'm gonna switch it to F1. F1, it's gonna basically dim up and then dim down. So when it turns on in the morning, it's gonna slowly go on. Uh, so that should be set. So I have it for uh, going on at that time. I'm gonna confirm my settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit set and hold it for three minutes right there uh that time's correct on 10 a.m that's correct off at 7 30 that is correct and it's set up for seven once uh, f1 which is the dimming motion so that is how you set this timer and now all i need to do is i'm going to turn on the lights uh to turn on the light all you have to hit is the power button oh, that says off and that's on uh right now I have the blue lights on but I'm not gonna be using the blue light on this tank. I don't need to use blue light. Yeah, sometimes at night it is good to actually be able to see, but it, it's not a light you wanna keep on all night because all it's gonna do is grow algae in your tank and keep the fish up. So let's go ahead and switch this to the white, and there we go. Uh, also on this, on, on this time right here, it also has a dimming feature. Uh, basically, of course you have the manual on and off. Uh, that's off and that's on um, to adjust the brightness brightness uh, is on I press power for three seconds uh, three seconds to enter brightness setting an hour a minute to change the brightness you need so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna press the power button for three seconds and right now it's on level 100 up oh, now let's change that it's gonna say level 100 and then you can change the dimness. If you want to go dimmer, you can. If you want to go brighter, you can as well. So I'm going to put this back up to 100. That's where I want it. Uh, I'm going to change it to 100. If in, in the future, if I decide to change it, I can always change it. Now keep in mind, when you change the brightness on this and you run it on the timer, uh, that is the brightness it's going to go up to. So if you set it for 60%, it's going to be at 60%. So. That is how you set this up. So basically that is gonna be how you set up this timer from the night crew. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear this down from my living room and actually take it back to my boy's bedroom where it goes on the 10 gallon tank. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to put it down below in the comments. Uh, if you run this timer uh, in this light, 
put that in the comments below and tell me your experience with this uh, setup as well. Um, and that's going to be that. So as usual, keep researching, keep learning, and happy fish caping. Thank you.